Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick review and comparison on these two baby monitors that I have. I recently got this one um, in exchange for the previous one because it has two-way talk, high resolution, and a five-inch color LCD screen. I really like the two-way talk back so I can talk to the baby. It also has soothing sounds and lullabies and a temperature sensor on the screen. Here's what the screen looks like. It's much bigger than the one that I actually have right now and it was only $10 more. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this, but I did want to show you guys what the packaging looks like and what the box looks like. has an adjustable camera. It doesn't move very much to be honest with you compared to the one that I currently have, but I do like the screen and the temperature and the two-way talk and things like that. So I am deciding to use this one over my other one because it is much smaller. So my other one does not have this. This one comes with sounds and lullabies. I'm just kind of showing you the details here about the two-way talk back. It's basically an intercom so that I can let the baby know I'm coming. Temperature sensor, I really like that has 1,000 feet range, nine level sound indicator, automatic infrared night vision. The night vision um, is not that great, I will be honest. Here's a picture of it on the box. Try to focus that here. And it actually does not look that clear. And then you can hang up your um, monitor on the wall, has a wall mount. And then just a little brief details again on the box. So I'm going to go ahead and get to the unboxing here. So here I'm just showing you basically the little manual that comes with it. User manual, short and sweet to the point. We don't need to look at that right now. And here's just a quick start guide. It's pretty simple. It's um, chargeable, so here is how they packaged it on the inside. If you ask me, it's a whole lot of cardboard for very small um, items. So they did package it in this plastic baggie here. It also has the screen protector over the lens for the camera. It's a nice little size, fits in the palm of your hand. Here I'm showing you on the back, this is the microphone. So. When the baby's crying, you can hear it nice and clearly. This is the plug-in for the wall outlet. This is how it charges on the wall. And then the bigger part back there that I'm pointing to is the speaker. And another speaker on top. You can turn it off and on. So you don't have to have it attached to the wall and plugged in. It is also wireless, but you do want to charge it by plugging it into the wall. It is fully rotatable. You can adjust it. It does turn 360 degrees. And here are some cord, cord hiders, I guess you could say. Cord hider. I don't know what that means. Anyways, here's the screen. It's really nice and big, and I do like that. It still has the plastic protector over the top of the screen. Here I'm showing you the different lights up at the top. It's made by VTech, obviously. Here we have the power button, mic indicator, power button, talk button, your menu and select all of your arrows, uh, your buttons down here to adjust the volume. You can zoom in and out, and then you can also select your view. On the back of the monitor, you have an adjustable stand And then you also have an antenna here in case you do decide to go a little bit further or if you are not so close. So that's nice and it folds down. Again, here is the speaker. This is where you will hear the baby crying and it's pretty loud. And the plug in again to charge through the outlet in the wall. Has some soft bumper cushion down here so your monitor does not get scratched.
I'm going to see what else is in this box. I don't think there is anything else. Like I said, it's a whole lot of cardboard for not too much. Here are the um, cords for each of the items. And at first I thought they were the exact same, but one goes to the monitor and one goes to the um, screen. So they are different sizes. I'm holding them together, comparing them. I thought they were the exact same, but they're not. But it is nice that you can plug these in and charge them. You don't have to have them connected all the time. And then this is my summer brand. It's called the Summer Glimpse Baby Monitor. This is what I'm currently using. You hold it down to power it on and off. I'm just showing you how small this screen is compared to the other. Um, you can turn on a little night light, volume, up and down, and then you can zoom in. So there's not very many options on here. This baby monitor does not come with any lullabies. It doesn't tell you the temperature. You can zoom in and it does have that light indicator across the top. This is what it looks like when it's turned on. It shows you volume up and down. And this green light will go up to yellow and red depending on how loud the noise is coming from the baby's room and she's asleep. And you'll see that this um, night vision is much better than the other one but here is the little stand speaker on the back and then here's the actual camera itself I actually like this one over the newer one after I use them because this one fully adjusts in many different ways completely turns around you can put it all the way up all the way down side to side and then the glimpse on the back and the little speakers, a little padding. Um, I'm sorry, that's not a padding, that's for the night light to turn on and where you would plug in the outlet on the back of that. So comparing the two screens, you can see the Summer Glimpse is much smaller than the five inch VTEC monitor. So I do like that the newer one is a lot bigger. And again, this, bigger VTEC monitor was only $10 more at Target. You can see the comparison in the size. The Summer Glimpse was priced at $69.99 and the VTEC monitor is $79.99. You can see how much smaller the Summer Glimpse is. It's um, a good monitor for, you know, just something that's cheap and you don't need it to do much. But for $10 more, I really liked that I could talk back through the baby monitor and I can see the temperature in the room. And also I noticed with the summer glimpse, if it's not plugged into the wall constantly, the monitor itself, it will turn off after three minutes. You have to keep turning it on. It's not reactivated by any kind of noise and this VTEC monitor stays on the entire time until you need to recharge it. And here I'm showing you the options that it comes with. Different types of alerts, different view types, language settings, the LCD settings, and then you can hook this up to multiple cameras as well. So I'm just gonna do a quick run through and I like that this one is sound activated. The other one is not. So to me, the night vision does not look as good as on the box, but it does the job. And you can even set your alert to tell you if the temperature gets too hot or too cold in the room. So that's really neat too. And the different types of lullabies your volume, monitoring mode. And again, language. So I like this monitor. I will be returning the summer glimpse for sure. So for $10 extra, I definitely think that it's worth it. So if you're looking for a monitor, I highly recommend this one. I found this one at my local Target. Get your mouth off the camera.